Hey everyone, so for this video, I'm gonna go over drawing clothing a little bit more. So let's say we have a t-shirt and pants and we want to add value because remember, you're supposed to have shading with value when you use the final colored pencil. All right, so what I added was some folds in the material the fabric of the shirt. To create some folds, you would make the shirt sort of puff out in spots and then a line come in at the bottom of that puff out. And these would create sort of wrinkles or crinkles in the shirt. And you would use value then to show shadows and highlights. So I would start by using a darker value under these creases. And then let's look at where else we might see shadows. A lot of times armpit areas have shadows because it's a tighter area where the fabric and body parts are next to each other and it creates a shadow because the light's not hitting it. All right, so you might have a shadow there too. And then it would get lighter as it goes to the middle of the shirt. And I would go back and I'll blend. So I'm gonna make Shadows along the edges of the shirt going into those wrinkles and then getting lighter as it goes to the middle. Now, if you color going in different directions, you still want to make sure it's smooth looking. Otherwise, it is going to look sloppy. Okay, and then I'm making it come in lighter. And then, of course, you can always go back and add more darkness. Thing is you cannot go back really and add lightness unless you go in at the end with an eraser just to fade some spots. Now I'm going to add a little bit of value around the shoulder, getting lighter and getting lighter there as well. All right, so you have darker value around the outer edges of the figure, and then also around the creases and areas where you might in fact see shadow, like the armpit area, something kind of like that. And again, you can go back, you can stand back from it a little, look at how it looks, go back and add more. Now for the pants, you might add more of a shadow around the pockets. And then again, I would do it around the outer edge of the pants, getting lighter towards the middle, and then the inner edge of the pants, getting lighter towards the middle. And doing that gives it a 3D effect, so it doesn't make it look flat. It makes it look like the body's three-dimensional because it's going from dark to light, so the body is further away along the edges and then closer to the light in the middle, giving sort of a rounded 3D effect, okay? So that would be how you could shade clothing in a more realistic 3D way using value. And then if you do it in sections, just make sure to go back and blend it all together.